the longest one ever. And that's that like... what she said. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> well played, Kyle Scott. All rested and witty. <laughs> uh, prefacing every conversation with like, hey man, I'm real sorry about that again. Like, <laughs> my, and he was so Ooh, cool about easies. it. The whole, oh, your shoes. Nice. Hold them up closer. What, so these are the Yeezys. Yes, for $25 or $35. $20. 20 I've oh. seen nurses wear very similar footwear. Yeah, they are. <laughs> shoes like in the ER with blood getting everywhere, you know. You know, I, I, I looked at these and I was like, wow, that's a bad knockoff. And then I looked at a picture of the real one closely. It's pretty fucking close. He just made some ugly shoes. That, 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 that's all that happened here. Michelin on it? Huh? <laughs> good year good year good year, <laughs> good year makes souls I paid the extra bucks yeah. good. Good. Yes. because the real factory is that, like all Chinese factories China are created in there. like there is good stuff that's made in China it's just good what knockoffs if, aren't made in what China there was a, what, I should have forged a help me note like, like, <laughs> like right here and be like holy shit he speaks <laughs> English <laughs> yeah. fucking Hop Singh wants out yeah. like They've have done that ever, before. I, I got uh, when I was like 15. I got, I I hey. really loved The Simpsons, and I wanted all of the seasons on DVD for The Simpsons, and they didn't sell them all at the time, and you couldn't just torrent them as easy. And so I had my grandma like, you know, will you buy me The Simpsons if you can find them anywhere? And she's like, okay. She ordered them from China because the only place you could get a seasons one to 15 of The Simpsons box set was China, and it came and it did that thing that foreign knockoffs do where the cover it looked so much like homer and so much like marge but that was not homer and marge on the cover <laughs> like he had like little bd like japanese eyes and uh like wasn't quite as fat a little more fit and it didn't say like the simpsons it just said like <laughs> what was it like a simpson town or like <laughs> something like that and where and then it was a complete fucking crap shoot with these menus like i'd be like oh i want to watch season five the cape fear episode that's a really funny one and i put yeah. that in and it was a com completely up in the air. One disc you'd put in, oh, an English menu, thank God. Okay, I'm going to go through these. I'm going to play this episode. Next one you put in, all Chinese, 100% in Chinese. You play an episode, it's like, I'll just see what, you know, these weird symbols equals. And then the episode just starts playing in Chinese with English subtitles. And it's like, this isn't even consistent with the other seasons that I've purchased. <laughs> like, I, I, I am very familiar with the Simpson Town, and this is not <laughs> how this show <laughs> works. But um, it was, it was I, don't, I lost it eventually in a move, but God, I wish I had that collector's box of Simpson Town with <laughs> fucked up Homer and March on the, the cover. Whole season of Korean Futurama mixed in for some odd reason. Yeah, Bender just shows up just <laughs> <laughs> with Asian oh. eyes. <laughs> Homer! <laughs> oh, that's a little more Japanese. Clear and come in. Come on, this, Taylor, imagine you get offered immigrant. a job in Vancouver. And you can work like three blocks away from whatever Vancouver's nicest hockey stadium is that you could actually go play. And like every week after work and Friday, you know, you're going to like go play hockey with your buddies. That that might tempt you to become a Canadian. I think you're more yeah, likely I'm to be Canadian. In, in that situation, I would be an immigrant. Yeah. But if I invaded Canada, set up <gasps> a, a shack outside of the Canucks stadium with a bunch of blues <laughs> stuff on it and said, this is blues country. And I started lighting shit on fire and, and ruining cars and kicking the windows of cop cars, you know, bring me somewhere to say, I, I can't watch the blues game here. It's not on local. And they're like, you know, settle down. This isn't like where you were from. <laughs> no, it should be. Why isn't this place the way it should be? It should be exactly like the place I left, which is a horrible hell. But, yeah. <laughs> no, I come to bring you. that culture to you. <laughs> I don't know. I, I always wear jeans. I don't have a pair of shorts. So, like, everything I've got... I, I just picture all of these things with different kinds of pants around them, and they all look good in my head. Yeah, it's really, really hard. Like, there's, you're, you will never find a pair of shoes that looks good when you're wearing shorts unless, like, it's a boating shoe. Where it's like, oh, that's a situation where you'd wear a boating... You're on a... And even then, don't do it unless you're on a boat, idiot. You look like an asshole, and your feet smell terrible. Like, the reason that your feet... Oh, you're talking about the leather ones? Yeah, the leather ones. Like, you need that sea air. 
around you to dry your feet out <laughs> that's that yeah. palatable like i have friends and it's like we live in fucking missouri dog you can't be wearing boat shoes in august in my house it's <laughs> incredibly rude. and don't you fucking take those things off or i'm gonna have to get some sort of biological enzyme breaking down febreze <laughs> to hit all the areas that you walked in i've been cooking all day oh uh, you haven't tried it yet? yeah i've been getting your texts about uh yes. you, you made a play today you made a sour cream chocolate bunt cake i did um, and then, was there something, something else? else i think did you there was a chocolate planned. souffle <clears throat> it was oh yeah tomorrow's dish. the yeah tomorrow's the rum raisin <laughs> uh bread pudding when you wrote that i was like i think i'd like to date kyle i think we'd make good, <laughs> we'd make good boyfriends you'd, you'd be a fatty <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah my girlfriend gets up every morning and she's at the gym for like three hours <laughs> jackie's making brownies right now she's not a bad uh second place um, get fucking peanut butter sandwiches. Uh, I make peanut butter and jelly pinch pies, which is pretty much, you know, you take white bread and uh, and like a, a biscuit cutter thing, and you cut the center out of two pieces of white bread, put peanut butter and jelly in it, pinch the ends shut, and then you fry that shit. And it's so fucking good. Um, yeah, I do Katie's everything. Town. He's a real, what's his name, George Carver? <laughs> he just starts inventing shit out of peanuts. George Washington Carver. You, you made a reference to the peanut butter guy from 160 years ago. Topical by your standard, you know? <laughs> That's it's, so funny. That's a good George reference. <laughs> so it turned, so, so let me do what happened the other day. Um, Dad was telling me this story. Um, he was over there at his farm, and it was like at nighttime, and, and him and his his brother, my uncle, were hanging out or something. And long story short, um, he sees that his tractor is missing, and he, and he goes to looking for Josh and Josh's little brother. And what they've done is taken his, his Kubota, his like Kubota ATV that he uses to work with. Mm -hmm. I don't know how much they cost, but it, it's like a used car. Yeah, yeah. 10 grand, 15 it, grand. It's like... Yeah, it, it's right in there. They have taken this thing and went mud bogging in it in his pond, and it is in the middle of the pond. And they have his fucking John Deere tractor down there trying to pull it out. So he drives down there. He's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> and and Josh just points to the to the Kubota. He goes, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> he just points, <laughs> and they try to blame it on the little one. So um, they have been ran off, and Wait, then it turned Josh out Josh and Jeremy, Josh and his little brother, uh, his little oh. brother who's this redheaded fucker. And then it turns out they've been <laughs> stealing shit. They've been stealing money. They've been stealing like tools and stuff. So they are banished. From Lamar? Oh yeah, from them. And I'm almost positive they stole cash out of my car because they came over to my house one day to cut the grass. I had like I don't remember exactly. Let's call it somewhere between seventy five and one hundred and fifty dollars cash stuck above above my visor, uh -huh. and it was there to pay them with. So and I'm like fairly sure it was there, but I'm not a hundred thousand right. percent positive that I didn't twenty at a time it away, and uh, and so when I go to pay them, it's not there, and I was like, ah shit, my money's not there. I'll go get some more. But in the back of my head, I was thinking, did they steal my money out of my car? And Dad says <laughs> they do. He's like, he's like, yeah, the the change went missing out of my truck. Uh, probably eight or ten dollars worth of quarters in the console, you know. And then he keep he keeps money above his visor too, you know, ten twenty dollars. He's like that would always go missing. And uh, he's got a refrigerator there in his shop, it's stocked with sodas and water and beer. And uh, whenever someone comes over, oftentimes, if they're polite enough, they'll throw a dollar bill in there as they take a drink or something like that. And uh, so Dad noticed there's a dollar bill in the fridge. And it, it, he thought that was kind of funny because he knows that they would be light-fingered. So he put another one in there. And every day he was going to add another dollar, he, telling, telling his buddies, like, how many dollars do you think it'll take before they steal it? Three. It took three dollars before they stole it. <laughs> three fucking dollars. And then my uncle was Not like, yeah. Not a lot yeah. of discipline. <laughs> and, and my uncle was like, yeah, I saw him over there playing with an air horn one day. I was like, yeah, that's my air horn. I use that to signal when we're downrange from the cannon. And he's like, well, they took that. I heard them honk it as they was leaving. And I'm like, well, fuck them. Those pieces of shit. What's fuck Josh's him. last name and what town does he live in? Ah, I don't go there. Josh might get an ass. You Josh know, PKA used whooping. to be hardcore, man. We used to tweet out phone numbers and you know, doxing yeah, was our we thing. we were certain that it was a crime and you could go to jail all over the place, you know? <laughs> like, there's a talent in being like, hey, why not us, right? Because maybe too often I, like, I'm wired to say, like, oh, well, well, let me list the reasons. We are not nearly the men that those guys That's are. That's what we do well. See, they, they, they always, you know, the U.S. is always Lists. like... 
18th in like mathematics scores, but number one in like um, in uh, confidence going into the test. <laughs> like, like, like globally, we lead in confidence. So like, if there's something that, and, and that means a lot. It that, does. There's a lot to be said for that. Like like sure, there might be eight other smarter, more qualified guys, but they're gonna be like, uh uh-uh, uh, I'm not getting on that rocket and going the fuck up there. But we've got the guys that'll climb on top of that rocket, even though. Everybody else who put it together and set it up, the real geniuses go into a bunker two miles away. <laughs> We're happy to re- go get yeah, on there. You know what you want is you want the Nazi guy who went to German school when they're like, that greater than sign is too large. It is not a uniform across the page. And like, no credit. Like, you want that guy building the rocket because he's going to see that little lug nut or whatever. And he's going to be like, that, that is not quite enough to turn. Oh, that is perfect. Uh, Whereas the other guy is going to be you. like, yeah. Jewish manufacturing. <laughs> Ever good. Ah, <laughs> couple of loose screws in here. There's a Jew about, as we say. You know, <laughs> oh, God. My girlfriend had like five or six uh, cooking outings that just went really, really badly. And I was just like, look, this, this cooking thing, there's no talent to it if you're using a recipe. The talent. It's like math. It, the, it's like math. The talent to being a chef or a cook is that you don't need that fucking book of like information. You know how much cream to add. You know what how much what what the how much butter to add. It's not because it's not about two thirds of a cup or one stick. It's about the consistency of the product. It's about how it, what the peaks yeah, are being like. Being able to eyeball it. Yeah, it's it's being able to eyeball it, and there's all kinds of techniques to like stir something and then like let let it drip onto the rest of it and look at how that how it falls to figure this stuff out. I was like, that's what the talent part is. We're just doing math here. It's just like two thirds of this and one pinch of that and a teaspoon of this and then stir for three minutes and then three fifty for fifteen. You can't fuck this up. So I've just had to take over, um, and, and and I've actually started liking it. So so we're cooking something different every day. So what 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 has been her uh, most catastrophic cooking failure? Like the one that really disappointed <laughs> you the most? face. He's I, I didn't want to ask for all of them because I can tell that would be a long tail. Dear, so if you're watching one. this, I apologize. You're, you're, the spaghetti. Um, there's been so many bad spaghetti sauces. Oh, so many bad sauces spaghetti sauces. I'm like, how and do you like, fuck up spaghetti? Oh, we, we start with canned <laughs> sauce, but there's a very sp- you know, to combine the canned sauce to the the ground beef or whatever you're using, it, there's there's some steps there. You gotta use the right ground beef. You gotta you gotta drain it correctly. You gotta chop it up the right way so it's the correct consistency. And I like to cook it for. A, I like to make my own anyway. I don't like to do it from a can. I put a little olive oil, infuse the garlic into it, and then psh, throw those tomatoes in there and get it stirring and make your own fucking tomato sauce. That's what I want to do so it'll taste good. Um, so she's messed up like five spaghettis. Um, Keeps lots of chicken lots of yeah it does yeah no it doesn't because you end up going to wendy's to like uh, uh. it's like there was one night where she messed up like <laughs> it, she messed up like a whole meal of food like like a bunch of chicken and rice and stuff all got ruined and uh and it was like it's okay make a pizza and then she burnt the pizza <laughs> And that was the only pizza we had. We had one frozen pizza, and she it was a frozen it. pizza. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was a frozen pizza. She put it on the top rack, and the top rack was like really. Cl- it was it was it was on like broil, so it just burnt the whole top of the pizza. She's like, I put it in for twenty I was minutes. Way too much credit to her when you said she made a pizza. I was picturing her being like top hat, like put a little mozzarella, you know? Yeah, <laughs> like, like she's tossing <laughs> the dough. <laughs> I'm both sorry again about the dishwasher. No, <laughs> no, if there's gonna be dough tossing, it'll be me. Now she burnt the fucking frozen pizza, and then I was just like, she's crying. So I'm just like, all right, here, let's let's go to. To Isn't McDonald's that and get ourselves some hamburgers. Isn't that fun? Sometimes you can be helpful and totally on the right side, and then at the end, feel like you still feel like shit because it's like, well, nobody's happy and everything went wrong, and this <laughs> baconator isn't very good because I wanted spaghetti and like, <laughs> like that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah it's uh, it, so so I'm gonna take over the cooking duties. I love cooking anyway. I really enjoy it. Um, it it's I, I like. I like mixing the things together and making things happen. What I never you really describe cooked. her duties as. Right? Because I'm pretty sure you earn the money, and I'm pretty sure that you do the cooking. These I like really the take. texts yeah. that you send. Because they're a little fun, like, oh, yeah. what a life. 
Like, <laughs> it's just, it's two in the afternoon, and this is the third picture of some baked good he's made. <laughs> I know. Apparently, just on some weird th- stream of thought, wake up in the morning. You know, it's a, it's a, today seems like a bunt I'll cake. I'll tell you what happened. My bunt cake happened. pan got here today. That's what? what happened. I ordered a bunt cake pan four days ago, got here today. That's what happened. Yeah, and so suddenly, <laughs> like, it, like, I picture him, like, getting up in the morning with, like, footy pajamas, like, bunt cake pan is here, and just whipping shit up in the kitchen and sending pictures to his friends like check out my butt cake it's what i imagine kyle's house like is just kyle sleeping there and his like one of those onesies with the nightcap on <laughs> and, it's, like, the butt flaps, and, he's, and he's laying down and then kitty from the basement kyle kyle you waking up it's getting late and then you kind of groggily <laughs> wake up and you go it's one cake Tuesday. It's one cake Tuesday. <laughs> and you just sprint down the stairs like a kid at Christmas. You know, run to the front door. No, my he slides pan. on his oh tummy. <laughs> to get down the stairs. Kitty, my bunt cake pan. I know, Kyle. You've been so excited about it. Can I use it right now, Kitty? Of course you can. <laughs> <laughs> like your feet are like slipping on the hardwood because you're so. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's not too far off. Well, not necessarily, not not like I'm some sort of dishwasher expert or something. I don't have a Maytag certification. I'm not the Maytag man or anything. You're just but not a dishwasher buffoon. A recurring I disagreement I, I have with Jackie is she often holds me responsible or gives herself a break based on things I would have done, but have never done, right? Like, you know, oh, well, you would have said that too, or you would have done the same thing. No, 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 no. We cannot hold, like... Say that this was not a bad thing chance. because hypothetical Woody would have done it too. Woody is innocent until he actually makes that mistake. That is how things go. You should turn the tables on her. It, just every time something happens, like like you'd have done that. Yeah. Like you see some like mother on TV who does some bad thing. You'd have done that. <laughs> you'd have done that. <laughs> That's terrible. Like, like you you're watching watching worse than that. It, it's like it's about Russia in 1912 and some 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 mother who ate her child. It's like you'd have done that. Here. Nothing comes between me and my masters. What is it, Father? These footprints were here. Risk is your best defense a handgun? Meet women who say shooting to kill was their only choice. I did what I had to do. It's simple for here.